what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here's something about prey in this video here today predator 5 aka prey or i guess prey aka predator 5 i meant to say well uh, we know this movie is coming to us from dan trachtenberg is going to be set 300 years prior to the events i guess of the original movie um and it's going to be following a predator's first trip to earth and is going to be hunting a Comanche nation with a girl at the center of it who wants to defend her tribe. Uh, a lot of people think it's going to be an overly, in, overly woke movie, and I now I'm now a little bit back on the side of thinking that it will not be like that. Only because I there was some things I was neglecting in my last prey video. One, this is again is set 300 years prior to what we saw with Arnold and the Commandos. So a predator is arriving on Earth for the first time shouldn't be really looking for you know the best of the best of the best unless again that's something that is something that's embedded in this in this species even on their home planet but again they're not familiar with humans it could be something that was adapted over time which then i guess justifies me taking the character of i believe her name was naru a little bit more seriously in the sense of how she is shown not being able to take out a bear but again we know from the previous movies predator likes a challenge but if it's your first time on earth and also dan tractor has some comments stating that the predator creature in this one it's its first time not only traveling to earth but it could be like from a different hemisphere from the planet it's from so again it makes me kind of okay I, i'll be be able to believe what narrative you're presenting to me now again after remembering small details like that i'll be able to i guess let let certain things slide depending on how it's depicted again on screen overall when i see it but jumping into some of the discussions and news regarding this movie the movie itself is going to have its premiere this week at san diego comic-con i believe on the 21st which would be this upcoming thursday fans are also going to get be, or people in attendance rather will be treated to a q a after as well so we may get our first reactions to the movie as soon as this wednesday which is exciting for all the predator fans out there uh but dan did recently have a sit down with uh svx or sfx magazine who also shared some new images that you'll be seeing throughout this video of a better a better look at the design we get to see naru hunting it and some other another cool shot of her prepping to take on the creature or predator but when speaking to sfx magazine uh dan said that he wanted to specifically say that say this because i think there's some confusion on how people understood in my mind this is not a prequel movie this isn't let's tell the origin of the predator this is really something that's set prior to the original predator movie and the predator creature in this one this is its first time traveling to earth so Again, he also said in another interview with comicbook.com, I think this guy's perhaps from a different hemisphere of the planet and a little bit of a different breed. So even his look is a little new because I've seen the shots. One of the shots that were out there, people were dogging it. People were not really on the same side of it. There were some people defending it. Uh, I'm not against the new look. Uh, and as, as you see some of these images, that, again, from the movie coming into your screen, I'm not against the look at all, all in all. I'm more so just now ready to see this movie and see how it compares to the 2018 movie, which I'm about to dive into. Pray for me. <laughs> uh, I want to see how it compares to that. I want to see how it stands up and lives and compares to the other movies I've already seen. And of course, if this will indeed be a Predator movie that I can say is my second favorite. I know I've already made it clear that I'm not really necessarily a fan of the series as much as I am a fan of that original movie. But I'm always down to give a new movie a chance, minus the 2018 movie, because it was just getting to a point where every chance was not satisfying me. Even as a, even as a kid, I just remember like I, I just was never really getting into rewatching most of the sequels. It was always just that first movie for me. I would just rather look up other things about the lore of the Predator. Uh, I would spend time doing that and then just revisiting the first movie. I would rarely revisit the sequels. I've seen Alien vs. Predator countless times. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I hope Prey will join my list of movies in the series I'm a fan of. <laughs> Since right now it really, I guess, would be just two. I, I, I don't love the sequel. I am a fan of the sequel. Uh, I think it's acceptable as far as like sequels go. But we'll see how Prey stands and compares to this 2018 movie, which I'm sure it'll be much more better than that. And I haven't even watched that yet. Again, I've had so many people tell me it's abysmal. Someone actually begged me in the comment section not to watch it. <laughs> uh, so shout out to you. But we'll see how this goes when I watch it tonight. 
But with Prey, again, having its debut this week in San Diego Comic-Con, I'm certain we'll get some reactions to the movie from people in attendance online shortly after. So I can't wait to see what everyone's thoughts are on it. Hopefully this movie, yes, isn't something that's just more obsessed with its messaging than telling a compelling coherent believable narrative but after reconsidering some of the other specific important plot details that dan has introduced here it's its first time on earth might and could be from a different hemisphere of the planet it's from there's a chance that again those details now allow me to say okay i will now accept that the predator will waste time with somebody like naru who, again, based off of the trailer so far, as if you're comparing it to the original movie, she hasn't proven herself to be a worthy component, a worthy opponent for the Predator. But since it's its first time on Earth, I will accept this narrative and see how it all plays out. Um, honestly, again, my biggest downfall I think this movie will have is just maybe the writing and some of the messaging. And that's it. Everything else I believe I won't have a problem with. Uh, the performances seem like they're going to be fine, solid so far. I really am excited to get familiar with Nuru and hear her story. Uh, have another final girl to add to the mix of people I hopefully love is some of like some of my top final girls. I have a long list of those, uh, ten plus. <laughs> but I don't think she's going to make it in the top five or anything like that. But I just love always having a new final girl to add to the list. So we'll see what happens when Prey releases in two weeks on hulu people again in attendance at comic-con will get to see it this week early reactions should come out i'm not saying they will i'm just expecting that because that's also usually what does happen most of the time from my experience so we'll see what happens there these new images from prey do you like them do you not like them are you excited for prey are you not excited for prey why are you not excited for prey do you think those minor details about predator being from a different hemisphere of the planet and being its first time on earth are now making it passable for you to accept naru as a worthy opponent for the predator so let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe Turn on post notification so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.